All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. And today we're gonna to be unboxing my latest keyboard, the Corsair K55. Let's take a look. So yeah, here is the Corsair K55 keyboard. I know what you guys are thinking, but Andy-san, that's a gaming keyboard. It's gotta be really expensive, right? Now I thought you were trying to save money. Well, it's not as expensive as you think. Um, it's technically not a mechanical keyboard, per se. Um, it's still membrane, but it's uh, pretty high-end membrane keys. Uh, it's really fast and stuff like that. And I wanted to get myself a new keyboard because my uh, tried true one that I've had for a couple years um, accidentally spilled some coffee on it and it's not working correctly at the moment. And my backup keyboard is like really tiny. So it's good for uh, browsing through stuff on my TV, but not so much for actual day-to-day -day, uh, typing and editing and whatnot. So I decided to get myself a new dedicated keyboard dedicated uh, especially for that. For those of you concerned about budgets and stuff, I think this is a fantastic budget gaming keyboard. It's about $50 USD, so pretty nice on the wallet. Um, it has these six programmable macro keys, which are gonna be very important for video editing, uh, which is another reason why I got it. Uh, it's got nice little uh, like lights and stuff like that. You can program all within the keyboard. You don't need separate software for it. You just use the function keys and you know go to town, which we'll get into a bit later. It also has a built-in armrest, or hand rest rather, which is good for uh, those long typing sessions and gaming sessions and whatnot. I'm um, not gonna be gaming so much on the gaming keyboard, but it's gonna be useful for editing and other stuff that I gotta do. So with that said guys, let's go ahead and open this bad boy. I've already cut open the little stickery bits right in there just to make it easy to open, so let's go. Woo. So as you can see, here is the board. So I'll go ahead and set this off to the side here while we look at the goodies inside the box. So we have right here the uh, little manual safety guide, probably explaining some of the functions and whatnot. Just set that off to the side. Um, opening the inside in the back, it's kind of hard to see, but we have the little um, hand rest. It's not like foam, it's more of like just hard plastic. Uh, like I said, not the best, but uh, it'll get the job done starting off. And uh, that's about it really. <laughs> not much more to the box, so set this bad boy aside. And now, we get into the piece de resistance, the keyboard. So, we'll go ahead and get this bad boy all taken care of. And as you can see here is the keyboard. I still gotta remove the little plasticky uh, seal thing on here. But uh, here we go. Just get that little plasticky thing so I can see all that shiny. Good, good plastic. Ooh, a little smudge guard there that off to the side. So as you can see here is the keyboard. Um, here is a little USB connector. It is a wired keyboard, so I was a little eh about that, but uh, you know, it's fine. Less batteries for me to worry about. It's not the uh, the gold tipped one that kind of the higher end ones have. Like I said, this is an entry level gaming keyboard for budget purposes and whatnot. So it doesn't have all the fancy schmancy stuff of a typical gaming keyboard, um, but it's something that'll help get the job done. Um, we'll do like a full uh, typing sound test once I get this bad boy hooked up. So uh, we'll just have a quick little pan around. So here are the uh, the macro keys, rest of the keyboard, number key, you know, the usual stuff. You got some media buttons and stuff like that over here as well, as well as lights for setting macros right there. Make other adjustments. Here's your little gaming mode key That'll help uh, basically lock out accidentally hitting the Windows key. So that's nice. So in the next little bit, we're gonna be looking at this thing all lit up. So yeah, see you there. All right, so as you can see, we have the Corsair keyboard all set up here. Um, this is just kind of the default as it was. Um, got ourselves a little uh, like rainbow wave sort of look. It's kind of hard to tell because it's daylight out. But uh, like I said, uh, we have the macro keys right here and uh, 
the uh, coloring scheme and everything can all be customized on board the keyboard. So you don't need a uh, special software or anything like that to uh, access this. It's all within the keyboard. And uh, also got a little armrest here that I put in. Uh, it's basically kind of like a cheap plastic. It's kind of solid but soft at the same time. It's, eh, it's okay. Um, it'll do for a $50 keyboard anyway, <laughs> put it that way. So, we'll go through some of these macro functions and how to change the lighting setup and everything. So, here we go. So, the first thing you wanna do in setting up a macro is you hit the macro record button up here. You just hit it once. You'll see the M button right here flashing, just kind of like low pulse. And then you hit the key that you want to assign the macro to. So in this case, we'll hit G1. Then you'll see it blinking a little bit faster now. And so we'll just hit, I know, Control S. To hit Save. And then we'll hit the macro record button again to indicate that uh, we're done recording. And then whenever I hit the G1 button, it's gonna hit Control S. So that's really important for gaming, video editing, any of that stuff. So I can do that for any of these six keys. Now to change the colors and the wave and the speed and all that kind of stuff, we're gonna go through all these different functions here in the manual. So you, if you hit function one, it's gonna change to like red, green, and blue. Function two, it's gonna change from yellow to blue, kind of a cyan -y color to purple. Function three, you got like a blue to cyan to red. Then function four, you got purple, uh, green, and yellow. And then function five is uh, orange, purple, and cyan. Function six is uh, green, blue, and white. Then if you hit function seven, you can customize each zone because you have like zone one, two, and three. If we hit function eight, it'll uh, hit the same color. So we can just kind of cycle through. Do we want it like all blue? That's probably what I would want. And then, you know, all yellow, cyan, purple. And you can just like cycle through. So I think we'll just hit a nice blue. That's kind of the default. That's what I would go through. Then you can hit function nine for like a color pulse. It'll be like this low sort of pulse. Um, then function zero we'll get like a color shift. So it'll just kind of like slowly change colors. And then if you hit function minus or hyphen, whatever, it will do a, uh, a color pulse through all the different zones, but it'll be like different colors per zone. And then if you hit function and equals, it'll do like a rainbow wave, which is pretty cool. It's just kind of faster. If you want to change the direction or the speed, all you have to do is hit function up arrow. That'll increase the speed. Look how fast it can go. <laughs> I think it's about as fast as it goes. And then to decrease the speed, you just hit the down arrow. And that's about as slow as it goes. And then you can change direction from left to right by hitting the left arrow. And then you can change it from right to left by hitting the right arrow. So function left. Woo. And function right. You. So, there's all the cool things. And then you can go into more customizable stuff as well. But uh, we'll get through one more little thing. So, if you hit a setting you don't like or you just want to reset the keyboard, you hit function F4 and you hold it for about four seconds. Then it'll go all white and it'll indicate, yep, and it'll blink and we're back to default. So, there you go. All right, so one last thing before we go, I wanted to have you guys listen to how loud this keyboard is or how quiet it is, depending on your perspective. So um, one of the reasons why I've been a little adverse to getting a mechanical keyboard is because I'm not a big fan of the clicky clacky noise. Um, I know some people like it, but I'm one of those people that don't. I prefer a much quieter noise from like a typical like chiclet or membrane style keyboard. Nice and quiet. Um, that's why I got this one. So we'll just do a quick little test on 10 fast fingers and uh, let you guys listen in. And uh, for those who don't know, I'm using my Shure SM57 mic, which is about, say, a foot away from the keyboard. And I'll also be alternating between this as well as my uh, onboard camera mic so you guys can get more of an ambient tone as well. So here we go.
So yeah, thanks for tuning in to my quick unboxing of the Corsair K55 uh, gaming keyboard. And uh, if you like this, be sure to watch my other unboxings. And with that said, this is the Andy Son. Time for now, and as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.